I want to be creating photos like these so naturally I go online and start searching for one of those transparent acrylic trays for product photography and I think it can't be expensive right it's just a piece of transparent plastic and then I see the price tag on this thing um that's why we're gonna DIY it today yes I want to create on my own one of those transparent trays because I think the price is unreasonable for me and I think it's going to be a fun project to make DIY attitude is my favorite attitude so let's dive deep into that Hello, my fellow creator. My name is Stancy, and you are on a Stancy Nova channel, the best place for creative people who want to live better. I create videos about product photography, content creation, and lifestyle design. If you're into any of these topics, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Now, let me show you everything that we will need to tackle this DIY project. Of course, we need transparent acrylic material. I got two sheets, 50 by 50 centimeters. One is cut into four pieces. We will also need this special tool to squeeze out silicone, a tube of silicone that's good for plumbing, and also tape and scissors. Now I'm removing a bit of the protective material from my acrylic. One sheet is four millimeters thick and I'll use it for the bottom. And another sheet was two millimeters thick and I needed to cut it, but I didn't have a special knife. You can totally buy it if you want. But it turns out that a shop where you can order a painting to be framed can do that for you. And I have one of those like two minutes away from my apartment, so that was easy. I am constructing this box using tape on the outside only. I'm not planning to remove that tape, by the way. When the box is done, I'm going to caulk it with this silicone. I'm basically applying an even stripe and then smudging it with my finger. And after that's done, I'm going to leave this box to cure overnight and we will check on it tomorrow. It all comes down to this. Will my DIY transparent tray for product photography hold water? Will it do its job? Well, it has been cured overnight and now all it's left to do is to just pour some water and see if it's gonna leak or not. Let's do that. Let's see if this is gonna hold up the water or something's gonna leak. Let's test all the sides, vertical as well. Guys, it's not leaking! Wow, I am actually impressed and surprised by the fact that I was able to pull this one off. Wow! Now, I just want to test it, I want to create a photo with some product, with some background, and we're gonna see how it actually performs. I'm so excited! I just want to quickly show you that I didn't do a perfect job by no means, but it's good enough to work. So yeah, I'm not a perfectionist. For the first test photo with the tray, I'm choosing this moisturizer. It has abstract wave on the packaging. I think it's perfect. I have this lightest shade of blue that I'm going to use as a background. Lacing the tray. I'm going to secure it with some super sticky tape that I have on hand. I hope the tape will come off easily. I'm using my Godox SL60W for this shot. Just one light this time, keeping it simple. H2O, just add water. I have recruited my boyfriend Artem to create the waves. I am paying him, oh yeah, with cuddles and kisses for this job. Here is a sneak peek for you. I am so excited to flip through the photos and see what came out of it. I took a lot of photos, but I narrowed it down to seven best shots, which I uploaded to Lightroom. I've done some editing and finally I selected two shots and I combined them in one because I liked the wave on the bottom of one picture and the wave on the top of another picture. So yeah. A little bit work in Photoshop and it's done. Okay guys, I just finished editing. Here's the final result. I'm going to pop it on the screen right here for you. I am obsessed. I'm obsessed! 
oh my god i i love it wow chef's kiss honestly let me know what you think about this photo in the comments down below okay <laughs> So, what you think guys? I think it's a success. I am super happy how this one turned out. I'm happy that I was able to do it myself on a budget. And with those couple of photos that I've done earlier, I just scratched the surface of what's possible with a tray like that. I cannot wait to try coloring the water, maybe adding milk to this water, maybe putting some other like ingredients, leaves, or other stuff in it. I think I can also shoot something with like reflection in the water. Oh my gosh, it will be so, so fun. If you want to create a tray like that and maybe you have some questions, do not hesitate to ask them in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to help to the best of my ability, of course. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you end up creating it using my video, tag me in your Instagram stories. You can find me at stancy.nova. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace!